So we're into an international break at the moment. And I thought what I'd do is ask some of the fans, seeing as there's a bit of a break and kids are just going back to school here in the UK, let's get a report on Unai Emery so far. How did they grade him? A, B, C, D, or maybe an E? No way, surely. Let's go and ask the fans. I would personally give him either a C plus, so he's passed the test, or a B minus. Reason being is I've definitely seen a change in the sense of when we played uh, Chelsea, for me personally, in the past, we would have just been blown out of the water. But we showed some fight, mm. which we have in the past, but I've seen a lot of fight with Unai Emery and I like the press. Mm. But I just feel like the player-wise, we haven't got the quality. That's not his fault then, is it? It's not his fault, no, it's not his fault. So, until we start winning the games like against Chelsea and like against City, which are, are super difficult, that's when I can really start seeing a change. But I have seen some good pressing and the passing from the back I'm not such a big fan of. But if you've got the correct keeper to do that, which I think he may have signed, don't know why he's not starting him, but for me he's done really well. I've, I've liked him, so I would say more of a B- minus than a C+. Plus. Um, I'd have to give him a C, really. C. Um, the players haven't adapted to the style at the moment. Um, I think he needs to possibly go with some drastic changes. Yeah, so put drastic in, changes in what way? Um, get get Torreira in the holding midfield. Definitely, I think Jack has made too many costly mistakes at the moment. Um, Czech as well is just looking uncomfortable on the ball. Um, and obviously this is the way the goalkeeping style is going now. They play it out from the back and he, he's, he's too old school now. Um, I think it's time to give Leno a go. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, I can see, see the team. Yeah, I can see the team improving, definitely. Um, but yeah, I think we will click. We've had a couple of tricky, start, uh, couple of tricky mm. games to start off with, which hasn't gone down too well but you know we are, we are improving i give him like a b he has done well for the club so far like you're looking at it, like guardiola he struggled the first season you know and you can see what he's trying to get in to the like the players and he he's given the winning mentality again because i feel we've lost it under wenger to be honest because the last two three years we lost it but you see the fight against chelsea and Man City is always going to be a tough game, the first game, but it, the performance has got better and I think over the season they'll just keep getting better. And we might have a few hiccups because it's still his first season, but I think, we, I think he's done a really good job and I'm, I'm quite proud of the man, to be honest. Um, I only give him sort of a B slash C, um, okay. just because of the team selections, really. I mean, Torreira should be starting. I, I know people were saying, like, oh, we need to get him adjusted to the Premier League, but... Most players, if you chuck them in deep, and Gwendozo, you chuck, you've chucked him in a deep end, and basically he's just done bits, hasn't he? But he did, Gwendozo, he has had a, like a, a full pre season, though, hasn't he? Whereas uh, Torreira hasn't. But I would argue that he's been in the World Cup, you know what I mean? He's, he's, he's been playing, he's match fit, mm. you know, he's playing for Uruguay, so to be honest, he, he should be playing for us. Mm. At least starting, I mean, we can bring him off at, at, at the end of the game. Mm and sort of seal ourselves up because we look we look shocking sort of not shocking but like we look very unnervy at the back mm. he always give us that stability um when he when he's playing so to start off at the first half to have that mm. and then get him off at the end like at the latter part of the game that's that's i think that's a better strategy to be mm. honest yeah but b strokes slash c that means you in general you're happy yeah yeah i mean um we can we can see the differences in in the play that he's doing. Yeah. Um, it's just getting the personnel to really cement it and and make it you know mm. strong like like the old days you know. <laughs> okay, at the moment, at the current point, I would say I'd say a C at the moment, and that's you know he's, I think we we can't expect too much of him at the moment. Obviously, it's his first season here. Uh, I've seen what he's done at other, you know, other clubs. PSG was there, Seville. I see that as well. Um, we can't ask too much of him. You know, he's getting used to the players. Um, you know, working out what positions are best. You know, I don't entirely agree with some of the some of the things he's doing, but. 
hey, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's better than the position we was in. It's a brand new start. So, yeah, C for now. But I think, you know, after a few games down the line, I think we're looking at A, a star maybe, you know. So, there's something about this. I hope I come back to yeah, you yeah, maybe Christmas and you're like, yeah, A. <laughs> yeah, A, A. Hopefully, A. And then... Um, yeah, we can we can see what it's about. There's, there's something about him as well, and I've seen him training as well. Like I've seen online as well. You know the guys that he's been pushing them. You mm. know, uh, you know, Bamia and have been there. And if they don't score press ups, you know, that's crazy. That's this is good. You mm. know, that's that's what they should have been doing years ago because it's discipline. You know, if you speak to you look at Henri and things like that. You know, his discipline was there. You know, what I mean, you had the discipline Ian Wright. You know, mm. it was there. But yeah, no, it, it, if they don't score press-ups you know what I mean I've, I've seen they've been sweating in training and I haven't been sweating in a long time mm. you know and I, I've seen that I was getting excited I was watching it, I was like yeah and you've got Ramsey there doing his bit um, yeah strikers as well so yeah it's quality I can't wait to see what he's, he's got coming really so Emery I'll give him a B why uh, last to see that's to be expected um, Chelsea that was a tough game I feel we was hard done by um, and then the last two games we've come through some of them are questionable, the wins, but we've come through. And what I've seen in the training, as my friend just said previous to this, I've just seen bare hard work. It seems like players are not getting let off. Um, whereas under Wenger, it seems like it was a bit soft. He seems a bit more disciplined, a bit more, if they're not doing their job, they're getting dragged off the pitch. That's what I like to see, you get me? Don't forget to check out the Real Football Fan Show returning to your screens on the 14th of September on Channel 4. It's going to be big!